Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So the Most High wants me to talk to you more about the daughter of Zion and this prophecy. And for those who don't fight against her, what will he will have mercy on them. So Isaiah 49, 24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? Daughter Zion, Isaiah 52 and 2. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, sit in her throne. O Jerusalem, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck or captive daughter is I this is speaking about her so he wants you to know the Gentiles and the people will do not fight against her because God is the one who fights her battles that he's a fire around her Zechariah 2 and 5 for I say I says the Lord will be onto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her you, you know in the in my previous videos it says um, those who fight against Zion, they'll perish because God is the one who f goes before her and fights for her. All right. And he says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive? This is why. Um, um, Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from thy bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Right. And then he goes on to tell her in Lamentations 4 and 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity, but he will visit the iniquity of, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Now, there's going to be blessed. You'll be blessed. The Gentiles will be blessed if they don't fight against Zion because God will not make them perish. And this is what he wants me to read, 2 Nephi and 6 and 12. And blessed are the Gentiles, they of whom the prophet has written. For behold, it, if it so be that they shall repent and fight not against Zion, and do not unite themselves to that great and abominable church, the whore of Babylon, they shall be saved. For the Lord God will fulfill his covenants, which he has made unto, which he has made unto his children. And for this cause, the prophet has written these things. Wherefore, they that fight against Zion and the covenant. So this is the woman. They who fight against Zion, the woman. Remember, God is in the midst of her. God is a fire around her. She shall not be moved. That's talking about her. God is in the midst of her. And this, Zechariah 2 and 5. For I says the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. If you watch my other videos, it says God will be glorious with her. Right? Now, God is in the midst of her. That's in Psalms. This is talking about daughter Zion. So God fights her battles. He's letting you understand this. Psalms 46 and 5. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. All right? So... He's the one who fights her battles. You know that. And that's why he says those who fight against Zion shall perish. And he will fulfill his promises that he made to the children of men. That's in 2 Nephi 10 and 13 to 16, which is in my previous video, but I'm not putting it in this one. All right. Wherefore, they that fight against Zion and the covenant people of the Lord shall lick up the dust of their feet. And the people of the Lord shall be a sh the, the people... The people of the Lord shall not be ashamed, for the people of the Lord are they who wait for him, for they still wait for the coming of the Messiah. And behold, according to the words of the prophet, the Messiah will set himself again a second time to recover them, wherefore he will manifest himself unto them in, the, in power and great glory unto the destruction of their enemies." When that day comes, when they shall believe in him, and none will he destroy that believe in him. All right. Now here, for behold, I have. Per now this is God saying that He fights the battles of Zion. All right. This is doctrine and covenants one hundred five and fourteen. For behold, I do not require at their hands to fight the battles of Zion. For as I said in former commandments, even so. Will I fulfill? I will fight your battles. Behold, a destroyer have I sent for to destroy and lay waste my enemies. And, me, and not many years hence 
they shall not be left to pollute my heritage and to blaspheme my name among the lands wherein I have consecrated for the gathering together of my saints. So do you understand that? God fights her battles. God is in the midst of her. I, Zechariah 2 and 5, For I, says the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. And that's why it says it in Psalms 46 and 5. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm just going to go to 2 Nephi 10 and 16 for you to get the understanding of the next part. Is He is written in the words of Isaiah that says it right there. Because it's precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. So we're in chapter 10. We'll go down to 13. Okay. And the land shall be a land of liberty unto the Gentiles, and there shall be no kings upon the land who shall raise up unto the Gentiles. They're not supposed to be raising up any kings. And I will fortify this land against all other nations, and he that fights against Zion shall perish, says the Lord. For he that raises up a king against me shall perish. For I, the Lord, the king of heaven, will be their king. And I will be the light unto them forever that hear my word. So you get this. I just needed to read it so people get a wider understanding. God is in the midst of her. He will help her that right early. God is a wall of fire. God is a consuming fire. For I, says the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. But he wants you to know he will save the Gentiles if they don't fight against her. And he, it says he will fulfill the promises that he made to the children of men. This is referenced again. Wherefore, he that fights against Zion, both Jew and Gentile, both bond and free, both male and female, shall perish. For they are they who are the whore of all the earth. For they who are not for me are against me, says the says our God. For I will fulfill my promises which I have made unto the children of men that I will do unto them while they are in the flesh. Now we're going to go back to chapter 6, which references what God says. Again, in chapter 6. And blessed are the Gentiles, he'll bless the Gentiles who don't fight against Zion, they of whom the prophet has written, for behold, if it is so be that they shall repent and fight not against Zion, and do not unite themselves to that great and abominable church, they shall be saved. For the Lord will fulfill his covenants which he made unto his children. And for this cause the prophet has written these things. Wherefore they that fight against Zion and the covenant of the people, covenant people of the Lord shall lick up the dust of their feet and the people of the Lord shall not be ashamed for the people of the Lord are they who wait for him for they still wait for the coming of the Messiah God is in the midst of her she shall not be moved now God building her up Psalms 102 and 16 when the Lord shall build up Zion he shall appear in his glory David says in Psalms 51 and 18 do Good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, his daughter. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Psalm 69 and 35. For God will save Zion and will build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and have it in possession. So do you understand why they shouldn't be fighting against this woman? Period. He'll destroy them. So those who fight against Zion perish. We read that in other videos. Because it's the, her redemption. Therefore, in consequence of the transgression of my people, it is, is it expedient in me that my elders should wait for a little season for the redemption of Zion. Redemption, beauty for ashes, that's talking about her. Shake herself from the dust, arise and sit down. O Jerusalem, loose thyself from the bands of thy, bands of thy neck, o, o captive daughter of Zion. Lamentations 4 and 22, the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. So he tells her to break loose herself from the bands of her neck from captivity. 
because he's rising her up and he fights her battles. Um, take this up with fasting and praying. You have a blessed day.